We have been an early believer in Waymax. I recall the date of November 2004 when I was presenting the Waymax file to the XCOM of Alcatel. We have been supported at that point of time which has allowed us to start the Waymax investment. Then as a matter of fact, we have been able to keep our leadership, our technological leadership since that point of time, allowing us now to deliver commercial systems. Welcome ladies and gentlemen. I'm right now in Second Life, a high bandwidth, high interactivity social networking application. Okay, Kareem, but don't you need to disconnect now and come see us in the meeting room? Actually, thanks to WIDE, our fully mobile Revision e WiMAX network in Villizy, I don't have to disconnect. I can stay connected and online while I join you and continue to enjoy my favorite application on the go. Alcatel Lucent has a complete portfolio of WiMAX based stations, which implement smart antenna algorithms such as beamforming and MIMO, and which allow up to 40% reduction in the number of radio sites and up to double the network capacity. According to Ovum, it's quite important to benefit from different types of form factors for WiMAX devices because it will help service providers to address different market needs and it will also provide a wider choice for the end user. One of the key differentiators of Alcatelucent offer in WiMAX is our OpenCP program, a program aimed at developing a wide and open ecosystem of end user devices that be available at affordable prices and fully interoperable with our network infrastructure equipment. I think that um, the OpenCP strategies pushed by vendors like Alcatel Lucent or Nortel is quite a good move because uh, it's, it is a way to ensure that lots of devices will be able to work with you know, base station from different vendors and so on. However, this has been also a reaction from these players as a lack of end-to-end -end capability, in-house end-to-end capability, which has been of great help when signing the first deals uh, in the early days of mobile WiMAX. Alcatel Lucent WiMAX technology is based on Revision E. It means that we can provide fixed services, nomadic services, and mobile services. So when we are talking about mobility, it means that we can handle handover between two white mice cells, and we can also provide a service in a car moving at more than 100 kilometers per hour. So to illustrate the mobility application in this campus in Velizy, we've installed WiMAX on a Segway moving all around the campus. Tu es où actuellement? Oui. Alors je suis sur le parking devant le bâtiment N1. We're able to communicate with this person moving all around thanks to WiMAX and a video conference application thanks to voice and video exchange with this person. WiMAX is the good access technology that does not require a large infrastructure to bring broadband and voice services to rural areas and high growth markets. Today, with our multi-service WiMAX offer, we are demonstrating the high quality of service and performance of the Alcatel end-to-end -end WiMAX solution. Here we show voice over IP, high-speed internet, and streaming video. At Ovum, we have been convinced since the early day of WiMAX that the main potential for the technology was really in the emerging markets where there is a need for broadband connectivity, but there is very limited or even inexistent wired infrastructure. So we have identified that in Asia Pacific, for instance, including China and India, this, will, this region will count about for about more than around 50% of the total users worldwide in 2011. If we put apart the spectrum issues which will be dealt with on a per country basis, I think the main three issues are the lack of certified products today for mobile WiMAX Wave 2 standards. We also need to see if you are targeting emerging markets, we need to see devices available in huge volume at a very low price. And finally, if you are targeting developed countries where there is already lots of competition for broadband, either on the fixed and the mobile side, you will need to help service providers pushing WiMAX to differentiate their services. First of all, I really believe that we have pretty 
clear objectives with respect to Y Maxine 2008. It is going to be a very important year for us as this is the first time WiMAX will bring significant contribution to the corporation. Our engineers have been investing for the last three years in ramping up, in building those competencies. And for sure, this is an asset which is going to lead us to take a leadership position in the field of 4G and LTE.